Welcome to We Funny AF, formerly the Imperial Eagle Live podcast, same crew, new do. We got the upper echelon, end all, be all, duality, part 108, hold up, available across all streaming services. We still have the same website set up for merch at imperialinkmusic.com. Various t-shirts and masks, and we also have new merch on the way specifically for the podcast, and it's coming soon. So, let's get into this, y'all. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, them Imperial boys is back. Yeah. And of course, you know we had to come back on some new shit. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, without further ado, I welcome you to the We Funny AF Podcast. Yeah. I'm the one and only Figs. I'm with my main man, Biggs. And we about to take you there. Let's go. We funny AF. Just in. What up? <laughs> Welcome to We Funny AF. <laughs> this is the uh what I call this? Uh this, this just, just in. Yeah, yeah, the this hot just off in. the press. <laughs> the, uh, uh Tuesday episode, the this just in Tuesday. Episode. Um I'm just gonna throw some random stuff at uh figs that has to do with pop culture. Some of it may have to do with life and lifestyles. We just gonna talk about it. It might not be pop culture all the time. No, it might just it's just random, you know. We see what we come up with. Not like and I I'm gonna throw this one at you anyway, even though we've already talked about it, but I wanna bring it back up because I saw it today and had some fresh ears or, or I, I was listening to it with fresh ears to see what people were saying and that's does your bar your does your partner's body count matter? And we talked about that. Mm. But <laughs> I wanted to reiterate it and let you kinda uh I guess make up for the last time we talked about it. Because <laughs> to me, your body count ain't that big of a deal. If you just like, uh. if you really, <laughs> if you really just love that person uh. and you know that ain't who they are anymore. Yeah. And like, like I was watching a, a show today, they were talking about it and they said, they, they had a particular woman who was on there. And this is what sparked my interest in it. To, to bring to you uh she was with 35 guys shannon sharp and britney renner you know who i'm talking about <laughs> and their thing was and that nigga had a drink and they, <laughs> they said, their thing was was that fucked up you know and my thing is i think they said she was like 31 years old so really it just averages out to maybe two two people a year so to me it's not that big of a deal but they got into saying that for them personally they would like rather she not have that big of a a body count but what really sparked my interest with that was the woman who was sitting there challenging what they were saying saying would they say that for their son as what you know because they got daughters would would they say that for their son as well and they both were like yeah absolutely but they would love for their there's some, but the world ain't perfect like that. So, what what is your thought on that? Uh, <laughs> I'm a racist. <laughs> I'm a racist in this situation. Racist. As far, what the fuck does that mean? I, well, as just the way I was describing, kind of how I feel about it. Uh. Like, um, <laughs> I, you know, that ain't racism. Well, I it's know sexism. I, well, sexism. Yeah. I'm a sexist. Then no, I, I, I don't know, man. I go both ways because I say this. You know, yeah. Most men who cringe at a woman's body count, mm-hmm. they body counts incredible, right? Um, like I said, I've been in situations where girls have pretty much just asked me, you know, why can't I be a pimp if you could be a pimp? Why is it cool for you to be able to do that mm-hmm. and and I can't? I'm considered mm-hmm. a hoe. Mm-hmm. And I really didn't have no answer for it. Right. But 
<laughs> if I'm about to put a ring on your finger uh-huh. and I'm about to make you mine for life, mm-hmm. I'm either going to need to somehow forget that you had 35 niggas <laughs> <laughs> or we ain't going to talk about your 35 niggas. And, and you know, that's funny because that's what the chick said when she was talking to him about it. She was like, uh, if it's going to be that way, then maybe just don't tell <laughs> how many people you Right, with. yeah. But and I don't think most girls, I think most girls lie. About the amount? The, the body count. You think it's bigger than yeah. it actually is? I was watching a movie and they told me when uh, they say a certain number, add four to five. <laughs> 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 so, like, but, uh, at the same time, uh, you know, no, nah, I mean, it, that's, I don't know, this women is footloose and fancy free. Yeah. And niggas knock them down, and and everybody pass them around and knock them down. And, <laughs> but on the majority of the time, you don't hear about nobody wifing them bitches up. Neither. Yeah, but the thing about it is, it, it's it's all to me, it's all ego. That's all it boils down to, a dude's ego. Yeah, and, it is because, I mean? because you because, you don't yeah. want to you don't want to ride across town. And 15 of the 35 niggas is over there, too. <laughs> like, I mean, it's kind of like, but, but I've been in situations, I've been in a fucking situation where I dated a girl mm-hmm. and broke up with that girl, uh-huh. and time had passed, all Right, and we was all sitting in a room. It was like 10 niggas, mm-hmm. and we was all sitting in a room, uh-huh. and she walked in with another one of our niggas. Okay. And they go back to the room, uh-huh. and everybody at that table looked at each other and said, "Nigga, we all <laughs> fucked that." Bitch. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, like uh, is that kind of you know? Are you expected to <laughs> make that? You, know? you see, the thing about it though is that's bro code bullshit right there. Because, I mean, unless she was just... But this is kind of the way we came up. I mean, you know, and, and I listen, don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. Okay. Somebody is married to her today that probably knows her past and, right. and, and fell in love with her yeah. anyway. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But, yeah. uh, you know, and, um, you know, and that's, you know, that's pretty all around the board. And and being in such a small town, it's almost impossible to be with a girl that hasn't been somewhere, with somewhere somebody yeah. or someone that you know. Yeah. That's you true. know, so you do have to, you know, have your nuts on tight like to <laughs> to, to be able to get past that. But um, you know, yeah. I, I honestly I can forget you yeah. know, I, I believe love is deep enough where yeah, like you know, I don't give a fuck who knows or who right. who says whatever. Right, you know right. what I mean. But you know, there's there's that's, that's the, a good way to look at it because it shouldn't matter. But the majority of motherfuckers ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's something I wanted to throw at you to see if you heard about, and that's Crazy Bone being in the yeah, hospital. That's sad. Which was mind blowing because I didn't know he had. To, I think the what sarcoid sarcoid. So I don't know how you say it. I don't Sarcoidosis, sarcoidosis. I don't know how you say it, and but it has something to do with your lungs, and but it could possibly affect the rest of your, your uh, immune system and shit. It could just shut you down, basically. And they said he is fighting, boy. Yeah, it seems like it just happened all of a sudden too. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, and he's a young, a young dude. He's what forty something around in there. Maybe forty six. Even I think so. I think that's what they said. And it's just mind blowing that uh, something like that could happen. You know, yeah, I guess they just let you know that whoever you are, it doesn't matter your status. Yeah, if something's coming after you, yeah. it's gonna come after you. You know, you just deal with it the best way you can. I guess uh, he's a true spitter too. Yeah, I, he's probably the one I like the best out of mm. Bone. You know, I thought he was dope, but um. And not to stick on that because that's a sad thing. But we'll go on to something else. Uh, what do you about? What do you think about artists having, especially rappers, having to record clean versions of songs? Because I was watching uh, Cardi B talk about how she fucking hates doing that. Well, she understands the politics behind it, yeah. but she hates doing well, it. Well, you know, I I hate it too, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, I feel like if you want that play 
Yeah. You've got to do what you've got to do. Yeah. I mean, with music as raunchy as the fuck you got, like... Who are you we talking about? Her. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I didn't do nothing. I mean, you think that they gonna let you say, get a dip for some wet-ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, motherfucker, you gonna have to clean that the fuck up. See, I remember her talking about having to clean it up. And they, it says wet and gushy. And she hates that. She said, that sounds worse than wet-ass yeah, pussy. Does. I said, it kind of does. Wet and gushy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had to, re- I think she was talking about how she had to re-record yeah. bongos with Megan. And she said it was a task because of lyrically how she wrote it mm-hmm. so you know and i guess that would provide a bit of a challenge to yeah. have to switch your words around well, shit. You, basically if you in that world making that money like that off of that shit mm-hmm. you really need to every time you make one of them you just need to go ahead and prepare the clean version too like you, it's automatic right because it's going on the radio you want it on the radio don't you yeah exactly you know what i mean yeah, that's crazy. And it's, God, you got to be a skilled writer to be able to do that, too, though, which you got that skill. Yeah. I've never had that challenge, so I don't know if I could do it or not. I would try. Well, yeah, I could do it. I know I could do it. I just never have had had to do it. Let's put it that way. Right. But um, we're going to I want to ask you this, too. This is <laughs> we almost started talking about uh, last episode. And that's Britney Spears and that uh, knife uh, dance. Uh, <laughs> 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 Did you see it? Have yeah, you seen it? Man. <laughs> and the other ones. I ain't seen I've seen some of the other ones, but they said there's two of these. There's one where she's dancing, she does that little click click. Did you notice the dogs took off running? No. <laughs> I didn't know There's like two or three dogs in there watching it, and then she like clink clink with the knife in it. I don't know if it's an old video they brought to the <laughs> forefront today, uh-huh. just because. Uh-huh. But uh, she was dancing in some underwear, and she yeah. had a motherfucking uh, had a wrist wrapped up. Yeah, and, and I don't like, know is that from the knife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she they, said they wasn't real, uh-huh. but the motherfucker sure sound real Hell when yeah, she said clink clink. Real. I, I, boy. I saw that shit And like, it wasn't even Good knife her. dancing Not really I mean I was like What's wrong with you chick I, I spent my time Watching on, her man. dance Be like Are you on drugs right now Or not <laughs> Is this really like Is this some good shit Or if I'm sitting here Like Watching this shit, Watching somebody Lose their motherfucking mind Like it, That <laughs> what are you doing, baby? I, I didn't understand. I'm like, you know what? She's got a lot of shit she needs to take care of because that is not it right there. No. But it was so funny. With them nice. And I think the music that she was dancing to was interesting. Well, I can't remember what it was. What was it? It's something everybody knows. The other day she was dancing to that. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 That's Enigma. Yeah, Enigma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, bitch, what are you doing at home? Somebody needs to come see you. <laughs> yeah, she got a lot of issues. Here's one uh, I want to ask you about since we're talking about female uh, performers or whatever. What do you think of what Doja Cat is doing right now? And the reason why I ask is because. <laughs> It's because I got a friend who thinks that she's a devil worshiper now, pretty much. Yeah, I heard somebody say that. And I'm like, cool she ain't a devil, devil worshiper. worshiper. I, I haven't seen no signs of that. But, uh, I mean, what she's I, a demon in one video. Well, what I have seen is, is that bitch is mentally crazy. <laughs> 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 but fucking very talented. Writes yeah. good songs. Yeah. Don't rap real bad. Like, no, you she's, know, she's, 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 she's a dope she, lyricist. She, yes. Yeah, she can She it. is talented. Yeah. But she looked fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when she did you see where she uh what was it she said? Uh, her fans was talking about how much they loved her, and she said she couldn't. She said, "I don't love y'all." No, I, I don't. Didn't. You hear that? That's I been a, that. about a month ago. I don't love y'all. I don't know you to love y'all. And like a million of her fans like dropped her. You know, just uh. left. And I was like, you know what? I mean, she's telling the truth. I was getting ready to say. I said she's got a point. I mean, she don't know. I y'all, like y'all you know? niggas. I'm yeah. glad y'all here, but, but she don't know y'all. I don't love you niggas. <laughs> she don't know y'all. And but my thing with that though is there's ways to say shit, and that wasn't the way to say it. <laughs> we seen but signs. We seen signs. Nobody <laughs> you know, when she dropped the frog song or the what yeah. was it? The, uh, the, the moo cow, the moo, so, cow yeah, moo, whatever that shit was. That, that should have been a red flag. 
then, <laughs> you, I think then those, y'all seen her dress a couple times at the yeah, at the different awards. Uh, yeah, <laughs> red flag. <laughs> <laughs> then y'all seen her shaking her ass for rich white people on one of them sites. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, red flag. <laughs> <laughs> and now the bitch done shaved off all her all hair. hair. Yeah. Lo- Look like she done lost two hundred pounds and she yeah. didn't weigh it in the beginning. No, so uh, I, I, red at flag. The, <laughs> At the same time, though, I think that being an artist and if you're brilliant, there is a level of crazy that goes with right. it. And it's it's been that way across the board. Apparently, you can't be sane and be a really good right. artist yeah. <laughs> because they've all got some kind of so, issues yeah. going on. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of credit it to that. Red <laughs> flag. <laughs> Maybe that should be a new uh, segment. <laughs> it's red flag. <laughs> uh, I got one for you. I just saw this today. Uh, there are some Idaho high school students. Have you heard about this? I don't know. Okay, some Idaho high school students who had T-shirts on that spelled nigger on them. Now, what else is crazy about it is they were posing, and they took a picture now. And I'm like, why are these people doing this dumb shit where you everybody sees it? You know, like you're not like you're gonna be able to get away with it. But anyway, they had this mixed race girl. Um, behind or in front of them kind of posing and they are all flashing you know the finger to the camera with nigger written across their shirt and i'm thinking to myself why would you think that is okay (laughs) why would you do that what what is going through your mind that makes you think and i get teenagers do stupid shit because they do they don't have that brain developed to where they can say you know what i shouldn't do this you know what i mean but i spend most of my life Asking <laughs> why the fuck did they think that was okay? <laughs> just, just like the Montgomery boat shit. Yeah, it's just like yeah. Be I spent most of my life asking that question. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> it's fascinating to me. I, I, it I is. Don't, I don't understand it, but it is. I'm thinking who I can send the Idaho right now to fuck them up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Cause that's just ridiculous But they do that shit in schools I mean teachers has been getting in trouble mm-hmm. uh, About certain shit they say And certain shit they try to do And I mean And I just be sitting back like why do? What made you think today Was the day that I was going to have a good day uh-huh. By Doing some nigger shit. Or <laughs> saying some nigger shit. You know, I'd be like, who, what, why did you think? What, what was your mind state behind that? And you know what happens. You know that that wasn't going to be kosher with nobody in America. Right. So, why? Yeah, what the fuck was you thinking? I don't understand. There was something I was going to ask you. Oh, what did you think of the Drake and Scissor joint? I haven't heard it, but I know oh, Halle right? Berry's mad than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy about that whole situation was he asked her. And she told his and ass And she told no, him no, and he did, and he it, did anyway. it any fucking way. And I'm like, why would you do that? You know, after somebody, if you if somebody said no, which she doesn't own a picture anyway. Mm. But still, you know, oh, in case y'all don't know, he's got a song called Slime You Out with SZA. And he wanted to put Halle Berry on the cover when she was at the Kids' Choice Awards getting slimed. And she said no. And he did it anyway. He bought, I guess, rented the right. However that works with photography from the company that owns the picture so he could put it on his uh, album cover or the single cover. And she's pissed. You know, she's like, look, why are you going to ask me if you're just going to do it any fucking way? She said, that's like a big fuck you to you. Right. <laughs> and it was, you know, I kind of I kind of uh, see where she was coming from. And exactly. And, and another thing is, Hallie, why'd you give a fuck? <laughs> I mean, it can only help your career <laughs> I don't know why it was that big of a deal to her either But you know what That was her choice And he really shouldn't have asked If he was just gonna fucking do it He should have just done it You know mm-hmm. And I get it she, Her being pissed off about it I totally understand it So That nigga think he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do <laughs> <laughs> Somebody need to check That nigga thinks he owns the world That's champagne poppy <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that uh, Ray's, Ray's boy? No, or is that Walt? 
Which uh, one? I think we all kind of like Drake in our own way. Yeah, I do. I yeah, I would yeah. love to see him do a whole hip hop album. Drake be rhyming. Yeah, and I like some of them songs he be singing too. But I don't listen to him with other niggas in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> When we on our way to the club, it ain't appropriate <laughs> for that nigga that you thought I was. I be mean, like, you gotta walk like I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, we ain't going to be bumping this in there. So, oh, shit. You, know, you are insane. That's funny. I be singing badly to them motherfuckers. <laughs> I can see in your eyes that you're angry. <laughs> I be singing my ass. <laughs> but just not to any dudes in nah, the car. Yeah, I don't play. I look around before I even play this shit. Like, <laughs> like, I this shit. Take a shot for me. Ooh. That is hilarious. Take a shot for me. <laughs> Look, y'all, we gonna call it on this one. Go go follow us on Spotify and Apple and Apple uh podcasts wherever you get your podcasts. Check us out. This is we funny AF. Yeah.